Hello everybody. Today I'm using um, Hypercam software. It's a free software for the first time. Um, nevertheless, I want to show everybody how to uh, add tables to their Hyperpin cabinet. Um, give me a thumbs up if this tutorial has helped you or will help you. Where I start off at is vpforms.org. Uh, right here is a new release of a, of a table. It's called Rescue 911. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the image to get a copy of the image, get it close, hit save picture as. Now I have a little folder on my desktop called Pinball and my Hypercam software is driving me crazy. Um, so on my desktop I'll go into the Pinball folder. We'll, we'll call this rescue 911 with a space. Doesn't really matter too much. Now, naturally, a PNG is not selectable, so we're just going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, you have to be a member here in order to download, so it, you'd have to set that account up separately. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm assuming you can figure that out on your own. Agree to download. Hit save. Once again, I'm going to um, put it into the same location, which is my pinball folder. I'm going to hit save. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get the wheel art. I get that from retrovicio.org. It's a Spanish site, but nevertheless, they got a really good collection of wheel art. Um, it goes A to Z, so of course, page, page um, one is going to have the stuff that's closer in um, in the alphabet page two hopefully we'll have what we're looking for um, might not have it maybe page three well it should be RST so it should be on page two maybe way at the bottom maybe just hadn't loaded Rescue 911. Click on it. These are these are already in a PNG format, which is a very nice feature. So once again, I'm gonna go to my um, pinball. I already have a media and visual pinball folder in there. Wheel images. I'm gonna name this Rescue 911. And it's already got the PNG, which is great. So we won't have to mess with that. You have to name everything the same. If you name something different, it's going to be bad. So over here in Pinball Nirvana, um, I got this like saved. It's got all the, um, the ROMs for me. I'm going to do a little quick search and found 911. I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that. I'm going to save that. You definitely do not want to rename the ROM. That's probably the only thing that you don't want to rename. Um, that downloaded really fast. Now, this is the place I usually go to um, get my back glasses. If they have them available, I also get the UVP. In this case, I already looked earlier. They do not have Rescue 911. Um, usually, a Flying Dutchman's um, Back Glass Paradise has it ahead of time. The only thing bad about this site is you have to wait to get to get your stuff. But you know, waiting a few minutes is not a big deal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close that since that wasn't an option. There's a couple other options. You can go Googling for pictures or you can come to um, IPDB.org. Um, find it. Now over here um, they have a picture of the back box. This is good enough for me. I could work with this. So I'm going to hit save picture as. And I'm going to go over here to my media folder. Visual pinball back glass images. 
Now, notice that this is still in a JPEG thing, so we got to go change it later. So I'm done with this one, done with this one, done with this one, and I believe I already downloaded it, so I'm going to go onto my desktop, find my pinball folder, and there's my files. My ROM is here, don't want to mess with that. This one and this one I got to fix. So, as well as there's the back glass I need to fix. So I'll start with this one. Um, with Windows Picture Viewer, we got to align it um, actually the opposite way. Got to align it this way, hit save, and whenever we save it, we change it to a PNG. Bam. Now there goes my PNG. I'm going to delete my JPEG because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put it into the table image. Now that one's ready to go. My wheel image is ready to go. My back glass images wasn't, so I need to fix that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it with paint. I know it's not exactly the ideal software, but it is a very very easy to use um, software so I just kinda like do a click um, a quick little um, edit to get me only the back glass and yeah, now, granted, the right side and the top side ain't perfect, but it's okay. It's okay for me. Save as. Now, if PNG was selectable, which sometimes it is depending on which version you have or what files you're opening. Um, and I'll go ahead and close that. I got it saved as a PNG. Going back to my folder. Go ahead and delete the, the, um, the JPEG. Now, all three of my um, art files should be there in the media file. Now, over here, I gotta make sure that this is named. Actually, I gotta open it up, cut this out, paste it over here, delete this, because I no longer need that. And I gotta make sure it's named the same as the other ones, which looks all good to me. Now, Right here, I'm going to cut this video off, and this is going to be considered part one. Um, please um, click on part two, so that way you can see the installation of it. This is just like the, the I'm going to say the PC work ahead of time, and then part two is going to be the actual installation of it on the, the actual Hyperpin cabinet. So thank you for watching. Feel free to um, rate my video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank you.